As requested, I'm going to show you how I use SimReaper to import my Sim to Blender. So the first thing that we're going to do is import our Sim from our save file. So you click on the select button and this should redirect you to the folder where your save files are in your computer. Once you've identified that save file, you click on it and then it will show you on the side the sims that are available to select you click on the name of the sim that you want so me personally i have an empty save file and i only have the sims that i'm going to be using for my machinima so i've selected that one and i made sure that the sim was wearing the clothes that i wanted but if you don't do that you can change it after and i'm going to show you once your sim is loaded on the right hand side you're going to have a few options so you go down to outfit and there you can change the outfit i'm actually going to change it to outfit number two for a specific pose it will take some time to load so just be patient and then once it's loaded we are going to make sure that some of the settings are on once it's loaded on the top here in the scroll menu you're going to make sure you have solid and glass meshes and textures selected as you can see here on the screen then you are going to make sure that you have link textures and that you have HQ selected. The rest, you pretty much leave it this way. You don't touch anything and you're gonna upload it in D in day. I think that's how you say it, day. You save it wherever you are gonna be able to find it and then we're gonna go in Blender. Make sure you use Blender 3.6 and here this is one of the scenes that I like to use that I created myself. Now you're going to go into file, import, and then collate, and then you're going to import your sim wherever you saved it in. Once it's imported, you're going to get a little bit of a jump scare, but that's okay. We can fix it. I'm going to show you how. So you're going to go into the right side of your Blender screen. You're going to click on the rig and drop down the menu until you see these two options. So you're going to click on the first one and you're going to go into you're going to go down to material properties until you see specular and you're going to turn this down to zero. You're going to do the same thing with the other uh, glass option here and then you're going to turn it down i don't always turn it down to zero sometimes i leave it a little bit you choose whatever works for you then what you're going to do is open a second display and instead of the 3d view you are going to open the shader editor once you're in the shader editor you see that base color little window you are going to click on the little dot next to alpha and you are going to drag and connect it to the other alpha point into the principled BSDF window. Then we're going to go back to our material properties window and you are going to scroll down until you see the settings tab. And in blend mode, you are going to change that into opaque to alpha blend and let me show you how it's gonna look on your sim so this is what it looks like when it's on opaque mode and now i'm going to switch to bl alpha blend and as you can see we can now see her lashes perfectly fine and there's no weird texture on her skin so yeah that's pretty much it let me know if you have any questions make sure to like save and follow me for more